Uh, I work for RNLI. I'm 24 and I've been working as a lifeguard since I was 16. I was really, really good swimmer when I was little. I used to swim a lot. And uh, I think that's pretty much where my love of lifeguarding came from. And I used to compete regularly in lots of competitions. I was actually on the path uh, to being in the 2012 Olympics. But I, I didn't want to go down the competitive sports path because I wanted to concentrate on my career and get a job. So I went to Gloucester Uni and studied sports science. And after uni, I went back home. Uh, so I was by the sea. I've always been by the sea, love the sea. And so I got into lifeguarding. And so now I'm a manager at RNLI. And my job's pretty seasonal. So I have three months off in the year, which is really good. And I love working outside. I've always been a really outdoorsy sort of person. and Always had a massive love of the sea. So, you know, I just would never want to be stuck in an office or anything. That would be horrible. Uh, so during this time of the year, May, April, I mainly make sure that everything's ready and for the summer and including, you know, getting the beach huts ready and stuff and fully equipped. And, of course, in peak season, I'm going to be managing all the lifeguards and lifeguarding myself. My job entails, I mean, it's, it's a lot of hard work a lot of strength, you need to keep fit, you need to eat well and I mean you need courage, you've got to be confident, you can't be out in the sea and not be confident and not have to make quick sharp decisions that could possibly actually you know, be life threatening to the person that you're trying to save. You've got to be focused, if there's someone out there that needs your help, they need your help and you've got to be there.